shine And the sun just won't shine channel it's phenomenal food by chef holly i am chef holly let's go ahead and just get into it guys i've been watching several of you guys videos especially on meatloaf i've been watching food network home cooks chefs everybody i've just really been into like watching the whole meatloaf thing i am so excited about doing this i got outside this morning it was freezing cold i mean it was like for lack of better words freeze your ass off cold cold okay so i was like you know what this is the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and break this meatloaf out it's not a healthy dish at all because i got brown sugar and i got pineapples and this and that and but it's good it's real good anyway so i'm very excited that you guys are joining me thank you so much guys um, thank you so that for all people that have been subbing and so on and so forth and all like the new friends that I made here on YouTube. Um, thank you guys a lot. Let's go ahead and get in the kitchen and get into this comfort food dish because I'm all about the comfort food. Chef Holly's meatloaf with pineapples. Okay, let's talk about our ingredients. In here we have about four, maybe four and a half pounds of ground beef. Then here I have some uh, sausage. It's already mixed sausage that I've got, um, you know, like saved sausage or whichever one that you want to get. I have a little bit of that quick instant garlic. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there now. All right. And then we have some celery, a little bit of one onion, a little bit of onion, and some bell pepper. Put that in. Okay. I have six egg yolks, not the whites, six egg yolks. I have about a fourth of a cup heavy cream. I have about here, eh, two onions, one a half of a, a actually an onion and a half, half of a purple and a whole small white. We're going to go in with some ketchup, about half a cup. We're also going to hit that with about a cup of panko, panko Japanese breadcrumbs. Then we're also going to hit it with a couple of uh, fresh basil leaves that I roughly chopped. Seasoning, about two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of minced dried onion, two tablespoons, of course, of Chef Holly's essential seasoning. That is some rough ground um, mustard, like, like the mustard seeds in there. Get some of that in there. And about two tablespoons of black pepper. Then, we're going to go with as much as you like to get that nice beefy kind of flavor, the Perrin sauce. It's about a fourth of a cup right there. And the last ingredient is going to be one pound of in syrup pineapples out of the can, in heavy syrup. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And I'll be right back. Okay, so as I taste my meat, and I don't encourage anybody else to do this, but I do this, I taste my raw meat. I felt like it needed a little more seasoning, and I was actually didn't have any more of my Chef Holly's Essential Seasoning. So I put a little bit of regular, like, season salt, season all, this is McCormick season all. I'm not using Lari's this time, because Lari's is a little kind of, like, too salty sometimes. So just about a tablespoon of that. And I'm going to mix that up. Okay, so that's everything already mixed up, all our seasonings, our pineapples, everything. Let's go ahead. And get it over here in our Pyrex dish. Right back. Okay, so you want to spray it with some Pam or some Pan spray. This Pyrex dish is a little old, so it's got a little bit of beating up on it. So you want to spray the bottom. And now let's put the meatloaf in. Okay, so our meatloaf is in there. Let's go ahead and start forming our loaf. If you want to use like one of those meatloaf pans that you see that they sell on TV, that's fine. You can do that as well. So let's go ahead and just get our meatloaf nice and formed. And I'm going to try to make him a little high, a lot of height and so on. All right. Of course he will collapse. So let's go ahead. Okay. In here we have about three cups of ketchup. 
have about six ounces of tomato paste. Remember, this is all for our sauce. Okay. Then we have just a little bit of the um, bell pepper, onion, celery mix there. Okay, just to put in, put in there on top. Then we have a little bit of fresh basil, as much as you like. Um, you really can't go wrong with a lot of basil in this dish. Um, this is roasted red pepper. I just want that little roasted flavor in my sauce. So you can buy those in a jar. Dice them up yourself. This is two small cans. I think they're about six to eight ounces each of the pineapple tidbits and pineapple juice. And you want all that juice as well because it's going to help you make your gravy. Use a little bit of A1 sauce. I was going to use Worcestershire, but I wanted the little extra things that are in A1 sauce. So I put about a tablespoon of that in there. And then I'm going to use uh, about a cup of brown sugar. All right, so let's go ahead and start mixing this up. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix up our sauce really well. And remember, as this cooks, I told you guys before, meat has its own thickening properties. It'll start thickening, and that brown sugar and so on and so forth, it'll start thickening up as well. All right, so that's pretty much perfectly mixed right there. Put in more basil if you want more basil. Do whatever you like. All right, let's go ahead and top our meatloaf off. All right, so let's go ahead and just pour our sauce right over the top of our meatloaf. And this is going to cook up really nice. And it's going to be really moist as well because we have extra sauce in that meatloaf. Okay? All righty. So let's go ahead and get that in the oven. We will want so many so Let me show y'all a little something here. As y'all can see, we have some excess grease and so on and so forth on there. This is a little trick I learned in culinary school. When you have excess grease, you take a paper towel or maybe a napkin, and you just lay the napkin, clean napkin of course, right on top. And if you guys can see like right there, what happens is that napkin will not absorb any of your sauce. What it will absorb is your grease that's on the top, just like that as you see it filling up. And so what you want to do is you want to do that all around, and you get all that excess grease out of your meatloaf gravy. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of this um, paper towel or napkin, whichever, around, and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so let's start plating. All right, so we have our mashed potatoes that I have from earlier in here, and I do have in here some arugula, basil, and cilantro that I want to toss with a little bit of that meatloaf um, sauce or whatever. Okay, so let's just take a little bit of meatloaf sauce that I have in here where I have skinned the grease off of it. And we're just going to run a little bit around the outside of our dish. Just a little. And we're going to clean up any mistakes we make before the finished plating presentation. Alright, now we'll put a little bit of this on top of here. Just very little. And I'm going to go ahead and just mix that with my hands and be right back. Okay, well that's that y'all. Um, this meatloaf is super, super tender. And I actually cut it really hot because, you know, I'm just greedy. But you might want to let it sit for a minute so it can kind of like firm up just a little bit more. But it's really good. I'm really excited. Um, as y'all can already hear, I already tasted. So that's what's on the menu today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by Phenomenal Food by Chef Hall.